<clears throat> Hi everyone, today I'm going to uh, talk to you about interpersonal communication. Interpersonal communication is one of the soft skills that uh, you have and uh, um, I have a PPT uh, which I'll be using and uh, the next 15-20 uh, minutes pay attention uh, and um, then you know whenever we get an opportunity to discuss this in class or in an online a physical or an online class we would do that right the title of uh, my presentation basically this is a presentation which I used uh, in a in a conference somewhere and uh, I would want to pick some parts of it although all of it may not be uh, useful for you but then I will just pick the interpersonal communication part not so much to do with the educator um, and uh, let me allow me to move to the next slide right so uh, this is uh, by Henry Ford who said um, if there is any great secret of success in life it lies in the ability to put yourself in the other person's place and to see things from his point of view as well as your own. Now this is a, a very powerful statement by Henry Ford and he talks about the ability to try to put yourself in the other person's shoes. Now how often do we do that? Interpersonal communication is all about understanding the other person. Interpersonal communication is not just uh, a small talk that you have with a, a friend of yours or with a grocer. I mean of course that's communication. But then interpersonal communication is successful when you are able to understand the other person. You are able to understand the perspective of the other person. So that's, uh, I'll start with this powerful statement by Henry Ford. We all know uh, the founder of the Ford company, Henry Ford. Uh, coming from him, it's a very powerful statement. Right. Um, so... What are interpersonal skills? They are life skills we use every day to communicate, to interact with other people individually and in groups. And I'm going to talk about the workplace because in two years time, one and a half to two years time, most of you would be working either on an internship basis or and a little later maybe you, you would join a company or you would want to take over your uh, dad's company. Uh, whatever I mean, so I, I'm talking about the workplace as well so in the workplace environment the term generally refers to one's ability to get along with others while getting the job done very important you know I'm almost going to maybe this is the part I'm talking about it generally refers to one's ability to get along with others while getting the job done. Now, this is the sentence, the phrase that I want you to focus on. How often do we get along with like-minded people? And most of you would say, well, 90% of the time or 100% of the time. But those whom you, uh, that, that's no big deal. When you are in the workplace environment, when you're working as a team, you will find people with whom it's very difficult to get along. But then, do you have this ability to get along with these people who are not exactly like-minded? That's the big question. So, it refers to one's ability to get along with others while getting the job done. And that's a big, big question which I'm putting to you today. That's interpersonal communication. If you have that ability, to get along with people who are difficult otherwise to get along just because you want the team to go ahead and prosper and do what uh, you want the team to achieve then you are a good interpersonal communicator so that's a big lesson that I'm teaching you today um, and uh, many times you know this is something that you learn along the way but I'm telling you well in advance about this ability of a good interpersonal communicated to do this and if you are able to do this uh, you are actually doing well uh, for yourself and for your team and for your company your organization right then uh, now this is something that uh, I, I want to bring to you although I'm not going to spend time here 
this is a national employability study which uh, I picked it up not exactly the latest um, this is the employability percentage in different sectors at the moment maybe a few years ago BPO tech support IT services KPO uh, and IT uh, services as well now um, IT products rather. so this is uh, just keep this in mind and uh, what are entrepreneurs looking for entrepreneurs what are they looking for and this is I'm connecting this to interpersonal communication I am not exactly talking about educators here although that's the title I think there are going to be some slides about educators uh, or employees but this is basically what something that I want you to very carefully understand I'm going to spend some time here employees who are good at interacting effectively with peers superiors and assistants now this is a big 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 um, pointer which I want you to focus on three types of people not just peers not just your superiors but even assistants in, in a typical environment let's say you're, you are students if someone were to grade you on the way you communicate uh, with the housekeeping staff with the parking lot guys with uh, the principal with the teachers and with your classmates maybe you score pretty pretty well when it comes to the principal when it comes to your teachers uh, reasonably good with your peers but how does it matter if, you know the communication with housekeeping staff the office boys you know the, the floor boys as you call them it's absolutely important because it talks about your personality so keep that in mind that's one of those things employers are looking for understanding the feelings of others very important do you do that ask yourself put yourself on a scale of 1 to 10 and give your score yourself a score and then you'll understand analyzing behavior of self and others in group situations do you analyze your behavior from time to time do you analyze the behavior of others because this is what is going to help you to become a better communicator demonstrating effective social behavior in a variety of settings and under different circumstances now, interpersonal communication is not being goody goody with people who matter it's being good with people those who even they, they don't matter in your life some of them the guy who uh, is trying to beg some money you don't need to be rude if just because you don't have money you can just nicely tell him that I don't have change to give you the the bus conductor someone of the metro station whom you meet or the taxi guy or the supermarket sales guy I know they are annoying sometimes but ultimately it's not in nothing personal there I sometimes give them a piece of my mind uh, these guys on the counters but there's nothing personal the idea is to help them become better at their job many of them work because uh, it helps them to get some money but nothing more than that uh, there's something called as customer service which goes out of the window many uh, very often maintaining uh, group cooperation and support making and keeping commitments to others these are things that I would want you to uh, pay, pay careful attention making and keeping commitments to others do we do that commitments are small things not exactly something big commitment could be just uh, promising someone that you call them back and you don't call them do you do at least keep in touch with them and tell them that I've not forgotten it I'll certainly talk to you one of these days that's what we need to do uh, think about it right so this is something to do with students and uh, uh, this is something that I wouldn't want to discuss here right there's something called as this jo Johari window which I want you to just understand there are four variants in this um, quadrants in this particular diagram one is open blind hidden and unknown and uh, I, uh, around this uh, these quadrants you have phrases like words like unaware aware aware unaware so this is you this is basically let me see let me go from black okay this is you and uh, this is others right um, now what I want you to do is I want you to just ask yourself communication uh, 
Uh, communication, your communication, um, how is it? Um, how, how open is it? You know, like for example, um, what do others feel about uh, your communication levels? They feel that uh, many, uh, you know, um, which quarter does uh, this particular you know, <coughs> communication come under? What happens in the Jawari uh, window is uh, there are a set of adjectives that are given to you. And uh, you just need to put those adjectives uh, under each of these quadrants. Okay. Um, this is uh, one activity that I will be doing in class. And uh, this will help you to understand where you stand when it comes to interpersonal communication. So I don't want to spend time here because uh, um, you will get clarity only when we do this activity in class. Right. So this is a survey questionnaire. Uh, and I'm going to spend some time here. Because this is basically something that I would share with you in class as well. Just like we will be doing the Johari window, you will we will also be doing the survey questionnaire. Um, I always say please and thank you when I ask someone for something. I think this is pretty uh, pretty important, absolutely important rather. The clothes I wear uh, would never offend another person. Okay. If something bad happens to someone I don't like, I tell my friends and laugh about it when that person is not around. So do you do this? You know, it, it tells something very strong about you and it's not something very pleasing to hear. I never curse or use offensive language in public places. Public place is a totally different area. There nobody's around. And uh, the guy who scratched onto your car, it could be because of rain and uh, bike skid. Of course, there's loss for you. And I mean, you don't need to go and bash him up and use offensive language. You could talk it out, explain things. You say, sir, it doesn't work like that in Hyderabad. Um, Hyderabad is not unique, you know. It works everywhere. Communication is the same across the globe. You have some very difficult people to deal with many times, but. Uh, Still, there's no reason for us to believe that uh, it doesn't work. Right. Uh, my hair is clean and well-groomed. People who know me would describe me as cheerful and friendly. I always have good posture. When I talk with someone, I look them in the eyes. I keep my fingernails clean and nicely trimmed. I usually become angry and lose my temper when things don't go the way I want them to. When other people do something different from the way I would do it, I avoid being critical of them. I don't bite my fingernails when I sneeze or cough. I always cover my mouth. My table manners are very good. If someone gives me a gift or does, does me a favor, I send them a thank you note. Just I want you to ponder on these questions and I'll get back to them in class. Right. So again, this, is, this was the objective of my paper. I'll share this with you later. Uh, and uh, most of it was to do with um, teachers but I'm sharing this because I found some of these things in the presentation useful and um, I could have eliminated those other slides but I retained them because I just wanted to let you know that there is some work happening among teachers as well because uh, it's very very important for them to be good interpersonal uh, communicators right so here we are talking about interpersonal skills and uh, some very, very important uh, qualities that you need to have if you want to be a good interpersonal communicator. I think the diagram is very, very uh, self-explanatory. Uh, leadership, uh, mentoring, decision-making, delegation, motivating others. Don't think that leadership is only for the bosses. You could be a team lead in three years time and you are a leader already. You could be a leader here in college. You could be in part of the student council. You would want these skills with you to succeed. Network, self-confidence, um, network building. Okay. And uh, this is basically what we're talking about. Effective communication. Something that we already discussed. A teamwork is got to do with mentoring, decision making. Group work, delegation, collaboration. So these are things that you should be very good at. And uh, if you're not, um, just consider, just, just look at these skills, you know, 
ask yourself a lot of questions that's how you become better and you would certainly improve on your interpersonal communication yeah so this is a small presentation which i wanted to do with you uh, just to help you understand that uh, interpersonal communication is something that is of paramount importance for all of us and uh, let's uh, get there let's be one of those who are known for interpersonal communication because that's uh, the biggest one of the biggest um, skills that you would require if you want to succeed um, in every sphere of your life thank you so much for your time hope it was a useful presentation and uh, uh, are you all geared up to become good interpersonal communicators and looking forward to some great interpersonal communicators uh, in our world in the coming days thank you